That must have happened while we were gone. What happened? There's a hole right there. What? What do we do? Probably 911 first. Can you hear me? One of our windows has a little tiny hole that looks like it got shot into. Can you go stand out there? Yeah, I'll do it. <sighs> Freaks me out. You look handsome. Thanks. You're welcome. Puppy dog's checking everybody out. Silly goose. Look at the rain, you guys. Oh. Can you see the drops on the ground? A little bit. It's so beautiful. And the nice thing about rain is just that it smells so amazing, especially out here. Back home in Washington, you kind of got used to the smell because it happens so much. But out here, oh, it smells so refreshing and amazing and beautiful. Oh, are you going to eat your leftovers finally? I think so. Oh, thanks. Let me know how it is. That yeah. It'll be better. It's a lot of work. I'm hungry like right now. Okay. So, do we have a banana you can take? And that and then you can bring that with you. There's one banana in here. And it looks like it's a banana meant for banana bread. There's two bananas in here. Oh. You're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> the vlog is just about ready to be exported. It's almost done. 100% be done. She's Come sitting here staring at me. There we go. Does she have I no, she hasn't had lunch yet, which is probably why she's like okay. Upset and stuff. All right. Day 60. Open. Uploading. 5 p.m. Safe. Perfect. So it is quite rainy out today, as you can see. And we are on our way to go to the post office. Yay! She has to mail some stuff, and I think I'm going to get a P.O. box because everybody seems to be giving awesome everybody wants to be a part of the p.o box pretty much so i'll let you guys know what that address is once i get it and that's pretty much it i'm just excited about it so i wanted to tell you that's all and it's raining, and it's raining some more <laughs> so we went to the post office to get a p.o box and yeah I'm not talking to you i know we did <laughs> and um we ended up I have to like prove my address and everything and I need two forms of ID and everything to fill it all out. So we're gonna do that later. But now we're at Goodwill. Not really shopping for anything in particular, just kind of popped in to see if there's anything of interest. And we're in the kids section right now. <laughs> no interest here. No interest here. Nope, none at all. <laughs> guys, 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 look, look at this, look, look. VCRs. It's like a portable, this is the hugest portable Thing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But it's 50 bucks. Why is it 50 bucks? Yeah. Oh, look at this camera. You could put film in it. No. Nope, nope, nope. Not desiring anything here except for these rollerblades. Sauna suit? What is it? How does it... It's like a garbage bag. We should get this for Blake just because. Blake, we got you a sauna suit. He's like, no, I already wear that bamboo. for PT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Little bamboo baskets of Cambodia. Uh, yeah. No. no. We should really hang pictures in our apartment. <laughs> we don't have pictures in you our want apartment. Those pictures that he has in that apartment. You want them? I want them. Why? They're um, like pop art. Uh huh. I there might be more in here. Have you looked in here? You could throw darts needs, at it. But what everybody needs in our house? No. 
Oh, everybody does need this owl. It would scare Noel. So this is what we got for Noel. Giant monkey. It was $3, so it's like, well, why not? Ooh, plus 25% off. And 25% off, because we had a previous Goodwill receipt anyway. Where's Blake? He's still not done. He's still not done, but he said that they're just waiting for a part that may or may not show up, so like, that sucks. I told him to keep me updated, though. Okay, Home Depot. Home Depot! I'm gonna take you to Home Depot. Oh, thanks. You went to Google with me. Yeah. So, we're doing a project right now. Can you tell what we're going to be making? I don't know, but these are the colors. There's one, and two. This is sea anemone. And, where is it? Hi Ho Silver. Quite excited about it. Yay. I'm going to set it up right here. Oh boy, and we're gonna see what she does with it. What are you gonna do with it? Go! Hi. She's like, oh, this monkey though. This will be my friend. <laughs> She's like, this smells like other people that are not you guys. But I'm gonna step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, monkey! <laughs> Monkey's not gonna live very long! Monkey! <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm so happy right here with this monkey. This is a good, good choice. I know it's not gonna last very long, but that's okay. It'll still be fun. For three dollars. For three dollars, it's like, it's perfect. It'll keep her entertained. And I know I'm gonna have to pick up a lot of cotton, but... Hey, <laughs> where are you taking the monkey? Hey guys, my name is Noel and I like cotton. <laughs> I'm literally just digging into his nose to pull out more cotton. So this is the aftermath of aftermath bleh, of the monkey. As you can see, that's the carcass. It's not even a carcass. I'm sure there will be more tomorrow. But this is the hallway. <laughs> And this is the living room. So, I basically have my work cut out for me tomorrow. <laughs> so what are you doing? Cleaning. Cleaning? Yeah. How dirty is it? Pretty dirty. It looks like a stormtrooper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's the case called? For, for those that are wondering. The MZ XT. Phantom 410. Okay. It's a mid tower. Mid tower? Mid size? Yeah, it's another way of putting it, I guess. Okay, what is. Keeping it on? IDK man. I'll leave you alone. I'm currently washing um, the second canvas I got in here. So, that's nice. Um,. The other canvas, Blake's using it, so I guess I'm just waiting for people to be done with things. And the little one is sad because she's in her crate. Did you get it? Yay! Yay! <coughs> yeah. Dust! Yeah. Dust! I'm leaving. <laughs> Coffee's being ground up and it's day number two, so we're gonna finish this project of today. We're eating dinner in the casino, aren't we? But it's like the food court in the casino, so that's what we're going doing right now. That's what's the whole on. background's nice and focused. <laughs> <laughs> Is this better? I'll just keep nope. it here then. Okay, well then. This is just really awkward. Stop, stop. Wait, maybe this will help. Back, there we go. Better? Yep. Okay. That's one thing about that camera. I know, it's really slow to focus, yeah. that sucks. But it, the quality's really good though. So that's what we pay for. This is the first time we've left the house today. Huh, pretty much. Two days. Two days. Yep. This whole painting yeah. thing is taking four. Yeah. Ever. 
And we ran out of paint, so we have to get more paint. But we don't have enough time to get paint tonight, so we'll have to get it tomorrow morning. Before I edit or something. So. They open early. I know, they open at like 7. But it sucks, because I didn't want to have to get more paint. I, I thought I thought that would be enough paint, but it wasn't. Both no, of them but now? One? Both of them. No, no. Now you'll have enough to finish painting and then go over. I know. I went over the lines, the oh, pink yeah. lines on the on the other one, and I thought they'd sink in. They did. So now there's just like awkward where the oh, where, no, yeah. yeah. Gonna... So I have to go over the entire pink all over again. But I think it'll be a lot easier this time because it's yeah. So I'm not worried about it. It's just really. You could keep it that way. Huh? You could keep it that way. And just do purple ones. No, because it looks really bad now, so I need to fix that. Okay. Yep. Okay. How's that power aid? Good. No. My eyes stopped twitching. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Is it because of the electrolytes in the power aid? Probably. <laughs> You're like, shut up. Have any of you guys watched An Idiot Abroad? Have you ever? Well, you have. Cause we, <laughs> duh. Because we watched it together. But what I meant was, you hadn't before we watched it on Netflix, right? No. So, if you haven't seen An Idiot Abroad, it's basically Ricky Gervais and his friend send their other friend, Carl, all over the world. And Carl's very reserved and doesn't really like to go out of his comfort zone. And basically, it's hilarious. And it's on Netflix. Oh no, little one, you look guilty. Oh shit. <laughs> you look guilty. What did you do? Oh, it looks like... Oh, she opened your thingy. How'd she do that? Look, she opened the center console. Yeah. How did she do that? I don't know. Little one. What was in there? This was in there. But it looks fine. Yeah. She, she just pulled everything out. Nice in there. But your wheel's intact and so is the gear shift knob. Yeah. Little one, how did you open it? You were so smart. So, anyway. If you haven't seen, oh actually here, let me give your jacket back. Thank you for letting me wear it because I was so cold. That is a good man right there. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, no big, here you go. If you haven't seen an Indian abroad, I just wanna say, A, it's available on Netflix, so you should watch it. For free. Well, not if you don't have Netflix. But if you do, you should check it out because the guy that they send everywhere, Carl, is very much like Blake. <laughs> and that's not to say he's an idiot, because Blake is very much not an idiot. But Blake just appreciates being comfortable, and he appreciates remaining within his comfort zone. And it's totally hilarious, because every time they send Carl somewhere totally ridiculous and out of his obvious comfort zone, all I can think of is you. <laughs> and how uncomfortable you would be in that exact same situation. She's so happy. Yeah, he's not even paying attention to me. I know. She's happy now. She missed you. Mm -hmm. Not me, but she missed you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. Nobody ever misses me, so. We just had dinner at the Santa Fe Casino, and now we're going to go home. I'm going to back up, okay? Back you got to back up. Okay. Um, we're going home now. Um, I'm really bummed that this project isn't done yet. Oh, that I'm working on in the living room. I've totally taken over our living room with this project that I'm doing, that I'm filming a video on. And it's just taking way longer than I thought it would, and it really sucks because I really wanted to basically be done today so I could start editing that video, and it's just not gonna happen yet, and that really, really sucks. So, oh, tomorrow we have to go get new paint because it's already, what are you trying to do? I know, I was trying to go across. Why don't you just go, go mm. follow the freaking signs? <laughs> um, basically, I was really bummed um, because tomorrow, it's already past 8 o'clock, which means Home Depot's closed, which, mean, which means, blah, blah, can't speak. We can't get any more paint to paint the thing that I'm painting. I want it to be like a surprise, but at the same time, this is the vlog channel, and I have to be able to show just about everything I talk about, and I can't, and that sucks, so, because I want it to be a surprise. Wow. I'm having this debate with myself right now, can you tell? Just turn off the camera. No. <laughs> I'm hoping we get our tax return back pretty soon. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Hopefully so, this week. Yeah, I'm thinking this week we're going to get our tax return back, which would be a lovely, you know, 
bonus. There was something not really we wanted. A bonus. Not a bonus, but, <laughs> but yeah, I know technically that's money we already paid. Yeah, but it's money we didn't have. Right. So, oh. um, but we're getting that back hopefully this week. There were a couple things we wanted to do with it. You wanted to fix the car up. Well, yeah, I just I need to get the squeaky noise checked out. In. Yeah. <clears throat> um, every time we turn on the car, you can't really hear it right now. I don't think actually. It, yeah, I got. When I drove Horn back, I was telling him about it because he like was a huge car person, works on cars. Right. I was telling him about it. I was like, "Yeah, maybe we can get out and like we can hear it or whatever." And of course, it wasn't squeaking. And then the day later, it started squeaking again. Of course. Yeah, you can't even hear it right now, and it's an old. I don't know, that's weird. So I guess sometimes what happens is when we first start the car or when it's idling or in a low RPM, it squeaks. Like it squeaks and it makes this sound like it's a like, belt it like is, a dry. Belt is dry. Or yeah, or and like cool. yeah, but it's always made this noise as long as I've been with you. It's just gotten worse over time. So, but we've had it checked out before, I think, and they've never said it was like a big deal or anything. But anyway, we, it's gotten <clears throat> worse. So I think with part of our tax return and we wanted to get that f checked out but there was something else I wanted to do with it I, re I talked to you about it I was like remember when this tax with, with this tax return is it okay if we well, do I XYZ save it too. I know I totally want to save it I want it to go in savings but there was something else I wanted to do with it like I remember coming to you and I was like can we do this with our tax return <coughs> oh was it contacts maybe was it it must have happened while we were gone Happened. There's a hole right there. Okay. What? What do we do? Call them. Call who? Well, call me 911 first. This makes me really uncomfortable. got shot into and the whole window's cracked. I don't know, no, the funny thing is that only the outside, um, no, 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 the only the outside thing is cracked. Um, okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. What do we do? Okay. Does it look like it got shot? Like no, that's. No, that wouldn't be shot because it would, 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 would have damaged the second wing and probably gone through. It could be a pellet. Well, but either way, like. Can you go stand out there? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, because the inside paint is fine. It's just the outside one that's broken. So it's not like it was a gun. Pellet gun, though. Yeah, I don't think. An airsoft gun could do that unless it was like modified. Um, pellet gun could definitely do that though. <sighs> Freaks me out. So while we were out for the 45 minutes, an hour to dinner, we come back and Blake goes into the bedroom because I don't know, he was just putting stuff away and he noticed that it sounded like it was raining. But it's not raining, and somebody decided to shoot something, a pellet gun, a pellet something, at our window. And oh. no other windows are broken in our apartment. He walked along the sidewalk, and there's nobody, like, the, nobody else's windows are broken. And the angle at which the pellet gun or pellet must have gone through that window was you had to be either in a house across the street or significantly further away from the apartment complex just because of the angle of where the hole is. So are you calling the number? We're looking at our apartment's website right now. <coughs> um, it doesn't look like they're really... I don't know if you're going to get anybody. We called the cops and um, we'll probably go down and file a report tomorrow. Um, but as it stands right now, we're just sitting in the apartment with all the 
blinds drawn and the lights off and we're just taking it easy right now. It freaks me out, you know? <clears throat> He's calling our apartment number right now. It says it's um, only open to My wife five, and I just got back from dinner. It's 9.04 right now. And uh, it looks like um, one of our, our windows is broken. It looks like it got shot at or something um, because the outside pane has a hole in it and the whole window is like broken and cracked. It hasn't shattered or anything yet. So there's no debris anywhere, but uh, the whole window is broken. So um, we're gonna need that looked at. Hey guys, so I'm sorry that last night's footage kind of ended on an abrupt note. We woke up this morning, we covered the window last night with a, uh, not, we didn't really cover it, we just kind of blocked our window to our room with just a sheet and everything, just in case something were to happen. Um, and after a closer inspection of the window this morning in the daylight, it doesn't seem like it was purposely done. Blake and his mom basically said it was probably a rock. And the reason for that was because um, it looked like a perfectly round hole last night, but when in the daylight we could see that there were a little, it wasn't perfectly round, it wasn't a uniform hole that, it, that was made in the window. Um, the screen wasn't broken, um, which means it must have bounced off or something, it, and because it, it didn't break the screen at all. What else? It didn't break the second pane, and it, um, it, like, it, it shattered like the window, basically. And apparently, I don't know, they were saying that if if it was a bullet or if it was some kind of pellet or of some sort, it probably would have only left a hole and only slightly made it kind of shatter a little bit, but the entire window is shattered. So um, something about surface tension or, you know, I don't know. Basically, it just looks like a rock hit it. But still, that's pretty impressive considering we're on, like we're not on the bottom floor and we're a decent distance away from the street that like, I don't know. I don't know how a rock could have done that, honestly, but I don't know. We're, we're less worried about it tonight, or this morning when we woke up than we were last night. Last night we were pretty freaked out about it because it looked like it looked like a pellet. It looked like somebody sh deliberately shot at our window. And it was only our window out of the entire complex that was shot at, um, that, you know, after last night how we discussed it. And the positioning of where it hit the window like, that's where Blake sits, right where the, where the hole is, and that's where he's on the computer. So we moved his whole desk over so he's not in front of the window anymore. And um, I don't know, it, it, I was just really uneasy about it last night, and that's why, I don't know, it just, it was no bueno. So hopefully, I, I don't know, I'm less worried about it this morning than I was last night. Our, our manager, our complex, our apartment complex manager, landlord guys, gonna take a look at it and hopefully get it all sorted out and make sure that, you know, nothing happened. I couldn't see a rock on our porch at all, so I don't know, you gotta speed up, dude. Um, I don't know if that's really what happened, but as of right now, that's kind of how it looks. It was just a rock of some sort, a very, very small, pointy rock. <laughs> right now I'm going to Lowe's because I used up all the paint last night on the project that I'm working on and I need more. So I'm going to go pick up some more paint and yeah, that's what I'm doing today. The little one is sleeping. This one moved his desk over <laughs> so he's not in front of the window and um, he's playing WoW. Well, How are you doing? I'm okay. Are you winning? You keep asking that about this game. You can't really answer. Because it's not really like, you can't really win. It's, What's the point of a game if you can't win? It's <laughs> it's getting better stuff and doing, improving everything. I mean, you can kind of win, <coughs> like defeating bosses and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there's no, like, oh, hey, end credits kind of stuff. There's none of that in this. It's not that kind of game. You can even win Pokemon. Yeah, because there's a there's a because there, there's a linear story to it. This it one doesn't, doesn't have, have a linear story. No. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Which everybody, is but everybody cool. on the vlogs keeps commenting and says that you should teach me how to play. I would do that. Okay. I think you'd like it. I think you'd enjoy it. Maybe we can do that mm -hmm. tonight or something. Okay. Sound good? Can, yeah, we can film it. Yeah, that's why I want to get a screen ca screen capture card, mm -hmm. so that way we can um, they can see. 
what we're doing in real life, real time, and then we can set up the camera like yeah. right there and film it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm-hmm. Like a like a screen cap. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you're not subscribed, you should because we put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Standard Time. Specific. Oh. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna go. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Um. Stop bugging Sam. He doesn't want to play. Sam's like, can you?